Welcome to the Money Max Pro Workshop. This is the advanced workshop. Now, if you've not watched the previous videos about how the Money Max account works and can help you follow a custom path to getting you out of debt, including your mortgage, in as low as five to 10 years, you need to stop this video and go back and watch a few of the other videos first. Then come back and hit play. Now let's get started. This is Jane and Rebecca. And they both have just bought a house at the same price with the same 30-year mortgage. And coincidentally, they both have the same household income. But Rebecca knows a secret that Jane doesn't. And that is what you'll be learning about in just a few minutes. Now, if you've watched the other Money Max account videos, you might be thinking that Rebecca is cheering because she has discovered an online system that can show her how to pay off her mortgage and all her other debt in as little as seven to 10 years without needing any additional income instead of 30 years like Jane. But that's not why she's cheering. Like you, she's already heard about the Money Max account. In fact, she already had the Money Max account. She's cheering because now she has the Money Max Pro account, where in the same seven to 10 years, not only is she completely debt free, but she now has an account that will pay her at retirement over $32,651 every year. That's over $848,000 from age 65 to 90 without adding another dime to that account. It's just what happens when she uses the Money Max Pro account. But here's the really exciting part. In a few minutes, I'm gonna show you how she can continue to use the Money Max Pro account to build the value even more and create a retirement income of over $13,000 per month. And if it couldn't get any better, that's tax advantaged income, not regular income. Tax advantaged income, putting more in your pocket to spend. Now, I know what you're asking, how? How in the world can you pay off your mortgage and other debts in as little as five to 10 years, then do nothing and have $32,000 annual income in retirement? or keep doing what you've been doing for the same 30 years that Jane is paying off her mortgage, but at the end, create an income of over $13,000 per month for the rest of your life in retirement. And I'm not even mentioning the other benefits that come with it yet. So hold on to your socks because in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. Now, you've already heard about the Money Max account and how it's designed to hold you by the hand and show you step-by-step step how to free yourself from the bonds of debt. If you haven't, you need to stop this video and take a few minutes to watch some of the previous videos explaining how the Money Max account works. When you've done that, then come back and hit play. In a few moments, I am going to walk you through what makes the Money Max Pro account different and how it helps you to build a tax advantage long-term residual income. Since 2004, we have helped thousands of individuals and families like you use the Money Max account to make strategic transfers that eliminate your debt the fastest way possible. This is using a principle we call interest cancellation. With the Money Max account, you utilize your checking account with another account to cancel interest and get out of debt at the same time. And we've been helping people do this for nearly 20 years. But now, we have something even more powerful that takes this system to the next level. But first, I need you to understand a little secret. There's a principle that banks utilize every day that most of us never get a chance to. It's called no stagnant money. You see, banks understand that you can't just let your money sit there doing nothing, just like a bump on the log. If money is in an account, it should be making you more money at the same time. You've heard that money needs to be working for you, right? And sometimes, listen up, because this is the secret. Sometimes it can be doing two things at the same time. What if your money that was paying off your debt could be building your wealth at the same time? Did you hear that question? What if your money that was paying off your debt could be building your wealth at the same time? I'm gonna to get to that in just a second here. So let's go back to the Money Max strategy that uses a HELOC or savings account to do one thing, to help us pay off our debt faster than we would normally. But what if instead of using a HELOC account, there was an account that could do two things at once, where the money going into the account could not only be used to pay off debt faster, but also be working for us at the exact same time to build wealth and 
a retirement income. Think about it. There's a lot of money going through that account. That's right. A strategic account that builds wealth using the same money that we're using to pay off our mortgage and other debts. It's a revolutionary concept that will change your life. It's called a high cash value permanent life insurance policy. Let me repeat that. High cash value permanent life insurance policy. Now, let me quickly clarify what we're talking about so you understand how powerful this is. This is a unique life insurance policy with living benefits and easier access to the cash value it builds. How does it do this? It was originally designed for businesses to allow them to borrow from the cash to fund business ventures. However, it can now be used by individuals like yourself to access the cash value and pay off debt, while at the same time building wealth, even from the money that was borrowed. We choose this product because this policy allows you to access the cash value that you are building without fees or penalties, but it gets even better. So keep watching because I'm going to show you something that makes this absolutely a no-brainer for using the Money Max Pro. We spent the last decade looking into high cash value permanent life insurance policies, and honestly, they all had high fees and just didn't work with the Money Max account. We went through tons of them, researching and evaluating until we found this one that met every criteria we had set to match up with the Money Max Pro account and replace the HELOC or savings account. Still an award-winning program that by itself is incredible. But what I'm going to show you in just a minute could be the game changer for you and your family because it turns the Money Max account into a system more powerful than we ever imagined it would become nearly 20 years ago when we first started helping people just like you get out of debt faster than ever before. Let me break it down simply so you can see how it works with the Money Max Pro system. Why does this make our already award-winning program even better? Well, first, a HELOC can actually be canceled or closed in a financial downturn. Many individuals experienced this back in 2008 and 2009, remember? Well, this permanent life insurance policy can't just be canceled or closed due to the economy. Also, the HELOC is tied to your house, but this policy isn't tied to your house. This policy is non-recourse. To qualify for the HELOC, they look at your credit, your income, and collateral. This insurance policy just looks at your health and income. The HELOC reports to the credit bureaus. The policy doesn't. The HELOC has a monthly minimum if you're carrying a balance. The insurance policy can actually fund itself after it's built up enough cash value. In fact, at a certain point, if your income stopped, it could potentially have no payment required. While if you stopped paying the minimum on your HELOC, the bank will come after you and keep trying to collect from you. You won't find insurance companies chasing you. We're going to go through all the details one-on-one -on -one with you and what you have to do to keep it active, etc. when we meet one-on-one. -on -one. So how does this policy work hand-in-hand, -hand, similar to, but better than a HELOC or savings account with MoneyMax Pro? Let me show you. Unlike a HELOC that just has a line of credit, to understand how this unique policy works, you need to think of it like three separate accounts, all in one. First, you have the account value. As you contribute money into the policy, the account value grows. Second is the cash value. This grows like the account value, but you can actually borrow from the cash value. This is what allows it to be used similar to a HELOC or offset account. And third is the living and death benefits. We're going to focus on these two columns right here. But I'll come back to this later because it's just the icing on the cake. These three parts work harmoniously together in perfect sync to build wealth, cancel interest, and pay off debt simultaneously. They act as your protection and accumulation vehicles. Protection because of the living and death benefits that you'll see at the end and the accumulation system that I'll show you in just a minute. So how does this policy accumulate money? When you put money in this account, it adds to the account value. But that money doesn't just sit there stagnant doing nothing. It actually goes to work for you in one of the safest financial vehicles available. And I'll show you that and what it's tied to in just a moment. 
Benjamin Graham, the dean of Wall Street, said, The essence of investment management is the management of risk, not the management of returns. So what does that mean? You want to make sure your funds are tied to something with a strong financial foundation, not weak that can just fall off from under you. Ideally, you want your principal protected and free from risk or loss. You also want to limit your exposure to taxes and preferably grow tax advantaged. Many stocks and investment vehicles have high fees, so you want low fees and that don't get in the way of you building wealth. And you must be accessible or liquid, as they say. It can't be tied up. You need to be able to utilize it to grow your wealth. This is the other reason we choose this high cash value permanent life insurance policy. It has a low fee policy with accessible funds that can grow tax advantaged without fear of loss of principal. So why is this so important? Let's talk about the flaw of averages. Let's say you had an investment account with $100,000 and the stock market dipped 50% your balance would now be down to $50,000. This is where most people generally get lost. What does it take to get back to where you were? Most people would say, well, it needs to go back up by 50%. 50 down and 50 up makes the average zero, but you're down by $25,000. This is the flaw of averages. 50% growth at that point would only get you back to $75,000. You need it now to grow 100% to get back to where you were. This is the flaw of averages perpetrated by the financial planning world. The high cash value permanent life insurance policy is tied to a fixed indexed product. Now, what does that mean? Well, when the stock market goes down, the index doesn't go down. It stays even, or in other words, zero. But when it goes up, the index goes up too, and we lock in our gains. We participate in the gains, but not in the losses. So over time, while the stock market is going up and down, the index only stays even at zero or goes up. Now let's talk about a tool used by insurance companies to grow account value while protecting the principal. It's a product called fixed index crediting. And we all know how important safety is to the insurance companies. One of the main things insurance companies do is manage risk. So how do we maintain a strong foundation? The way you do that is with a fixed index crediting strategy and make zero our hero. We've all heard of the S&P 500, right? That's what your broker usually wants to offer you. However, fixed index crediting strategies are only offered as part of a life insurance product. Now, if you're not familiar with how fixed index crediting functions, this will open your eyes and knock your socks off. First, let's look at the S&P 500 and how it's performed over the last 22 years. These are the top 500 publicly traded companies in the US. The Fortune 500. These are the big companies that everyone knows about. Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Exxon, Amazon, GE, you name it. The growth rate is what the actual index produced over the last 22 years. Now here is index crediting strategy. We're gonna introduce this to you and compare it to the market. So in this index crediting, as I said, it uses the S&P 500 and is based on an annual point-to-point -point crediting system, index crediting. So our money, is not in the market. So therefore we cannot lose our money. So now in this index crediting on the S&P 500, it does have a cap of 9.25%. If it goes up more than 9.25, we only go up by 9.25. But heads up, there are other indices that will go up equal to and some even more than what the market goes. So I'll show you that solution in just a second. What does happen with this comparison? Well, the regular S&P 500 was on a giant roller coaster ride with huge losses that had to be made up for with even bigger gains. Look at these losses. Remember our flaw of averages? Big losses require even bigger gains to recover. Let me show you. Year one, the growth rate on the S&P 500 was a negative 13%. So in the index crediting, we don't participate in the loss. So therefore our credit was 0%. In 2002, the market lost another 23%. We were credited zero, meaning we didn't follow it off the cliff here. In 2003, the market was credited 26.38%. We were credited 9.25, so that hit its index cap. In 04, it was 8.99. We received all of that 8.99 in 2005. 3%, we got 3%. 13, we get 9.25. 
I think you understand what's going on here, how this works. So now, let me show you how that relates to a balance and why this is so powerful. So here we have the growth rate and our start balance of $100,000. So our growth rate, start balance 100 grand right here, and here we have our index crediting over here and the start balance of 100,000. So in the two years where the S&P was negative, 36%, our balance stayed at 100%. But over here, it dropped by 13 and dropped by 23. We're down to $66,000. Now, when the market goes up by 26%, we're growing off of only $66,000. Remember the flaw of averages. So the next five years are pretty good. If you grow 55%, our balance at the end of the five years on the growth rate is $111,000. And our balance on the index crediting side is $138,000, 2008. We know what happened back then. It was a bad year. Our balance dropped from $111,000 to $68,000. Our problem is, what if you're going to retire right here? Yeah, you might have to think about that a little bit longer and stay working, right? Stay investing. Well, on the index crediting side, our balance stays the same because we don't participate in the loss. Zero was our hero. That was the floor. That was the floor. 2009 to 2014, that was the longest winning streak in 22 years. The S&P 500 goes up 90% with a zero year in there. Our account in the growth rate on the S&P 500, it's $155,000. But our account balance with the index crediting, where we're not participating in the loss, is now $215,000. The following year is a loss, 0.73%. We don't participate in that loss. The growth rate, your balance goes down. We just roll forward. The next two years are pretty good, 28%. Our balance at the end of that is 202000 on the growth rate versus $257,000. The following year in 2018 is 6% loss. Your balance goes down to one eighty nine. Our balance rolls forward, locking in our previous gains. Here we are at 2019 to 2021. The market does really well, 72%, three years. However... And this year, the growth rate on the S&P 500 versus index crediting finally got ahead from 360 versus 336. However, the following year, it went red. That balance dropped down to $290,000 versus our $336,000. Here's the average, 20-year average on the S&P 500 and on the index crediting. The S&P 500 growth rate is 7.6% versus 6.25%. And you never participate in the loss. Even though the one rate was higher, the crediting is higher at the end. That's powerful because zero was the hero in this scenario. Remember our quote from Benjamin Graham about our focus needing to be on risk management, not on returns? That is why our permanent life insurance contract is tied to a fixed index crediting strategy and not to a regular index. We don't want to be caught in a financial avalanche taking all of our principles down to the bottom of that huge mountain that we just climbed. Now remember, I said that there are other indices that don't cap the gains at 9.25%. Here is the U.S. pace setter. We like this one a lot. So this is another index among different indices that you can be crediting on index crediting. The U.S. pace setter has an annual point-to-point -point with no cap of 130% participation. Now, what does that mean? Let me show you. Here are the growth rates on the U.S. pace setter. Now, for years 2001 and 2002, data was not available, but we can assume that it would have been negative. But on the actual index crediting, we wouldn't have participated in those losses, so we just roll over with the same balance. Now, here's the growth rate index in 2003, 9.87%, and our crediting was 12.84%. That is because we get 130% of the actual growth rate on the U.S. pace setter. That is because there is no cap. In fact, we get 130% of the growth without a cap. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if we look at the following year, the growth rate was 12.67%, and we are credited at 16.48%. So all along the way, we're getting 130% of whatever the actual rate does. 
And in the years where it's negative, you just end up with zero. Here we are in 2022, lost 15%, but we ended up with zero. And on the US pay setter in year 2020, it was 14.75. We're at 19.8% because we have 130% participation. Whatever the actual index bid, we get 130%, with zero being the floor. At the end of that 20-year period, from 2003 to 2022, starting with a $100,000 balance, assuming that those first two years were negative, our balance would have been $552,000 versus $336 versus $290,000. Being in the actual growth rate versus index crediting, that's how we ended up with protection and accumulation all balanced out. The actual index crediting rate with 130% participation on the 20-year average ends up being 8.92% outpacing what the S&P 500 did over the last 20 years, with zero being the floor. When we talk about managing risk and having a strong foundation, this is it. I think you can see why the safety-conscious insurance companies love the index crediting solution. So, this high cash value life insurance policy is built on a strong foundation. Warren Buffett said, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. So let's talk about how your high cash value permanent life insurance policy working with your MoneyMax Pro account unlocks your true financial potential by strategically paying off debt and building wealth at the same time. Remember the three parts of the high cash value permanent life insurance policy? The account value, the cash value, and the living and death benefits. Whenever we earn money, it is on the account value which continually goes up and never down. And the cash value is where we're able to access or borrow funds from that account. If we access funds from the cash value, it does not decrease the account value. The account value is still connected to the fixed index crediting strategy, which averaged 6.25% growth. However, the interest rate on any cash value you access is currently only 4.6%. That's a difference of 1.65%, meaning even though you access that money to pay off debt, you're still making money off of it. This is where we have the ability to split the dollar and do two things at once, earning interest and canceling debt at the same time. For example, if we have $100,000 in our account value earning 6.25% and we borrow $50,000 from the cash value to pay off debt at a rate of 4.6% based off of the Moody's Index, remember, the full $100,000 is still gaining 6.25% interest. So we're still growing our account value because the difference for the borrowed amount is 1.65% on that $50,000 that we used to pay off debt or in other words, we accessed $50,000, but we're still continuing to earn 1.65% on that money that was withdrawn and used to pay off debt. That difference is called arbitrage, allowing us to earn interest and cancel debt simultaneously with the same dollar. Did your mind just get blown? Tony Robbins said this a few years ago. He said, there's only one reason to invest, income. Now, we remember how the funds transfers happen with the MoneyMax account and when they happen with strategic transfers. MoneyMax Pro with the high cash value permanent life insurance policy is very similar, except that we're building our account value, utilizing our cash value, and we have our living and death benefits as a safeguard. We will withdraw from the cash value and do a funds transfer to one of the loans. Notice the account value never goes down. And with the deposits from the checking, the account value and the cash value grow, and then we make another strategic transfer from our cash value to one of our debts again. And the cycle repeats until all the debts are completely paid off and we have a huge account value that continues to grow and creates a lifetime income. Let's use our sample client, John and Rebecca Jones, using our MoneyMax Pro account. So here's their rate at 3.25%. They have a $305,000 on their mortgage. They've got four loans, $55,800. They owe a total of $368,800. This year, monthly debt payments are $3,692.73. Here's our base, monthly income, $7,700. Other monthly expenses, what's that? That's our gas, groceries, utilities, and spending money. They said they have $625 left over. Not a whole lot. That's 8.1% of their total income. We'll just go with that. Let's see what we're able to do for this client. You will get a comparison of the bank's plan, what they hope you'll follow, 
versus the Money Max Pro account plan. The bank is expecting you to pay $565,000 versus only about $428,000 on the Money Max account plan. Instead of paying $190,000 in interest, they only pay $56,000. This plan saves you $134,000 in interest. That's a savings of $134,000 from the debts and the rest from the mortgage insurance, which they were going to pay in 63 months, but now they will only pay 24 months and they'll save $2,660. This is amazing. Instead of 30 years to pay off all of their debts, John and Rebecca's payoff date is only 8.3 years. They save 21.8 years of time. Here's a cool calculation. Once they're debt-free, if they took those same monthly payments plus their discretionary income and put it into a savings account at 1% interest, they'd end up with $1.3 million in a savings account at the end of 30 years. So what's your scenario? How much sooner could you be 100% debt-free instead of being stuck following the bank's plan? At the end of the eighth year, where would you rather be? $45,000 in your cash value account or still owe over $250,000 to the bank. So let's take a look at what this looks like on an amortization schedule. So here's all of our total debt right here. All of this is gonna be eliminated, totally paid off to the penny by the contract, not negotiating, not ruining your credit, paid back as agreed. Now we can prepay our mortgage and all of our loans so that we don't have any prepayment penalties that we're talking about. Now, here we are today, our balance on both sides. This is the MoneyMax Pro account side, and this is the side where you just follow what the bank tells you to do. Here's the thing. If you are going to be at a balance in one year by going forward with us of $331,000, or if you could go with the bank's plan, you're going to be at $343,000. That's a difference of roughly over $15,000. Now, in 8.2 years, you're either going to be in the black or you're still going to be in the red. You decide. And at the end of the ninth year, you would have $42,000 that you could tuck away into your savings account. At the end of 30 years, you would have $1.3 million in a savings account by taking your monthly payments, these right here, minus your taxes and insurance, because you didn't have to pay those, and plugging them into a savings account. You'd end up with that balance at the end of 30 years. Now, our client wanted to retire when they're 65, so they wanted to start taking money out. And so they have $1,143,000. Now, let's look at the results inside the actual indexed Universal Life cash value account. So we're looking out into the future. Once we've paid everything off, this is our cash surrender value. That's how much cash we have available to us. If we wanted to, we could pull that out and close the account. But what if we kept it there and let it continue to grow? I'll show you in just a minute. But look at this tax advantage death benefit. $820,000. If, heaven forbid, something happened, John and Rebecca have that, and no matter what, they're taken care of. Now, I have to tell you this. The insurance regulators cap what I can illustrate as returns on this part right here. So if it performs better, I can only show you these amounts that you're about to see. But what I really want you to see is the accumulated value. Look at this. $359,000. You don't get that with a HELOC or savings account. That is every penny that we use to pay off our debts, still working for us because we chose a high cash value permanent life insurance policy as our offset account. Normally, the cash surrender value would equal the accumulated account value, but what did we do? We pulled the cash value to pay off all our debt. Now we have zero debt. That's why we've only got $45,000 surrender balance. I say only, but you and I know Having $45,000 is like a gift from heaven at the end of paying off all our debt. But the biggest gift is this $359,000 accumulated account value. What if we decide to let this keep going? What does it do for us? So if we never contribute another dime to this account, it would continue to grow. When it's time for retirement, here's the big surprise. It has created a tax-advantaged annual retirement income of $32,651 for 26 years, 26 years. Now remember, we only had $45,000 in cash surrender value. How does it work? Remember that accumulated account value? That is the account that continues to work for us, earning interest year after year. 
So from age 65 to 90, John and Rebecca are pulling out over $848,000 simply because we chose to use the high cash value permanent life insurance policy to pay off your debts instead of using a checking account only. Why would you pay off your debts any other way? This is absolutely amazing. This is why we said our high cash value permanent life insurance policy will beat every other account. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've got all that cash freed up. What if we could keep making the same payments after our debt was paid off? What if we went ahead and we started just paying that directly into the policy until retirement? Well, let's take a look at that. This is what we're talking about. What were our previous debt payments? Let's use this, $3,393 because we still have our monthly escrow. But we pulled those out of the equation. But our $625 is discretionary income. We want to throw that in. So we add that up and we end up with this number, $4,018. What if we put that money into the policy until we hit age 65, when we want to start pulling money out of it? What would it do for us? Well, let's take a look. Now, this is where it gets cool. So we put in $4,018 per month up to age 65 into that account, money that would normally have been used to pay for debt, like 99% of your friends are doing stuck in their 30-year mortgages. But for us, we are debt-free and we're building well. Now, remember this illustration is limited because it's regulated. So I can't show you a higher return than 5.9% but that doesn't mean your actual returns will be capped. It's just this example. At 65, look at our cash surrender value. Remember, it was $45,000. It has grown to nearly $1.6 million. That's cash you could have access to whenever you want. If you decide you wanna buy a car, you wanna buy a rental property, vacation home, whatever, you have nearly $1.6 million in cash surrender value. But remember what Tony Robbins said, there's only one reason to invest, create income. This would create for John and Rebecca an annual income of $157,000, over $13,000 a month on this account. That's over $4 million in income spread over 26 years. Remember how Forbes said more people are worried about running out of money in retirement than dying? Well, that fear is gone now. But what about this? The death benefit. If you were to pass away at age 64, heaven forbid, your family would end up with over $2.1 million. That's a huge benefit for your family. But this $1.6 million in cash surrender value that you have access to all along the way, maybe you want to use some of that cash. Of course, it would change the income at retirement, but maybe you need it for that cabin or second home. But now you have choices. You decide what you want to do with it now. Now, if you continue to pull out all that cash and you live to age 90, you would end up pulling out over $4 million in tax-advantaged income. Plus, you still have your death benefit. If you were to pass away at age 90, you'd end up with a death benefit of $600,000. So roughly $4 million in income, you're pulling out $13,000 a month. These are pretty incredible numbers. Now let's just compare the two. One other thing that I did want to go over is living benefits. This is something that comes with the plan at no additional cost. If you're terminally ill, chronically ill, or have a critical illness and Alzheimer's, $1.3 million. Critical injuries, this is the best of any living benefits policy out there. $1.3 million for critical injury. And Alzheimer's, over $680,000. Terminal illness, almost $1.4 million. Chronic illness pays over $11,000 per month. Now, let's do a comparison. Here's our HELOC, and here's our high cash value permanent life insurance policy. Interest savings on the HELOC is $144,000. Policy is $136,000. HELOC's a little bit better. On the interest savings, we're going to pay off using the HELOC in 7.3 years versus the policy in 8.3 years. Net death benefit on the HELOC, zero. There's none. But on the policy, it's over $800,000. Wealth accumulation at age 65, a little over $1.1 million with the HELOC. However, on the policy, it's almost $1.6 million. And that continues to grow when we pull it out. So what does that do in income? Check this out. With the do-it-yourself model, putting that money in a savings account, you'd have a monthly income of about $3,800, but it's taxable income. However, 
With the high cash value permanent life insurance policy, you can have a lifetime income of over $13,000 a month. That's a huge difference. And that is tax-advantaged income. $13,157 monthly. Quite a raise and tax-advantaged for life. If you were to pass away at age 90, you'd still get $600,000. Total benefit using Money Max Account Pro, over $4.7 million. Which would you rather have? $3,800 a month taxed or over $4.7 million in total benefit using this policy? If you answered $4.7 million, you need to listen up. I'll show you how to get your own Money Max Pro account, qualifying to become a client with us. When you started with us, you most likely were depositing your income into your checking account. That's not going to change. Now, to become a client with us, you have to be able to make the minimum payments on your debt. If you can't make the minimum payments, you cannot be a client with us. If you have a negative cash flow, it's just not going to work with us. Now, the next one is going to sound a little funny. Your current living expenses, your current spending, what you're spending today, you need to continue to spend today. You cannot come on with us and cut back. You have to continue to do what you're doing because if you decide, oh, I can't do that anymore, you're going to blow it up. So we want you to continue to do what you're doing. Look, if you're the kind of guy that needs to go to the football game every week, you're going to continue to do that. You have to go on vacation once a year. You need to continue to do that. Kids activities, school activities, sports, whatever you're doing today, you continue to do what you're doing. Next thing is, we need to get you approved and set up to build your bank. Your liquid, no surrender charge, high cash value, permanent life insurance policy. Next, we set you up with your Money Max Pro account. This will help guide us in building and turning your debt into wealth. Now, getting qualified. What do we have to do to get qualified? We are so confident this will change your life forever. We'll do a free one-on-one -on -one consultation, a free savings report. That's a $150 value that'll show you the same thing that I just showed you using John and Rebecca Jones's example. It will give you a look into what it's going to do for you. You decide if you want to invest the time to do it or not. Then you can decide if this is what you were looking for. Once you see this is real, we believe that we're going to get started and set up your high cash value life insurance policy and begin converting your debt into tax advantaged income for life. If you're ready, click the schedule appointment button now and let's get started today.